Today is a very special day. I'm about to take my lovely mother out to lunch. Aww. Five star? Malibu. <gasps> no, boo! Finally! Not exactly. Uh, the meal does have to do with a very rich person. Let's say uh, Travis Scott. Are we going to his house? Not exactly. Uh, he does have a meal, though, that we are going to be trying. What do you mean? Does he have a restaurant? What do you mean a meal? Not exactly. Again, he actually has a meal at McDonald's. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, and we are going to be finding out if this meal is lit or if it's McDonald's? Yes. I hope it's lit. I don't <laughs> want sh <laughs> Well, let's go find out. Come on. Here we go, guys. We're about to order the Travis Scott Travi Patty, baby. And I, I heard the way you have to order this is you have to say Cactus Jacks at me. So I'm gonna try something else. Okay, for you. Um, Cactus Jack grabbed my ass. What'd you say? I said Cactus Jack sent me. Okay, any else? Uh, yeah, that times two, please. Thank you very much. There it was. Travis Scott meal, baby. Oh, yeah. I think they need to get that thing fixed, though. I don't know why you said Cactus Jack and all that. They, Be, so they Because that's Travis Scott's name? name. Like, he, he goes as Cactus Jack. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't think. aware. I mean, I, I'm not too cultured in the rap scene, but hey, cut me some slack here. We're about to try this. Well, McDonald's knew what you were talking about. They knew because it's a trend. They tweeted out. Right here is the tweet. They said, say Cactus Jack sent me. I try to say Cactus Jack, grab my ass, but... They, I, they didn't they like didn't, that. They didn't respond. He said, excuse me? <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. How do I buy one of those shirts? You can, unfortunately. Dang. I'll give you one for a thousand. A thousand. A thousand? Wow, that's expensive. That's a markup right there. I think I might have a better better chance of just getting a job, right? Yeah, you would. <laughs> then I'll get it. Thank you, bro. A thousand bucks. I can't believe it. A thousand? I'm, I'm honestly better off getting a job at McDonald's. Getting a shirt and then quitting. Yeah. Or I heard eBay, you can get a shirt. I mean, that's not my concern. I mean, I didn't really <laughs> want a shirt. I'm just, just curious. <laughs> Will you ask? <laughs> there it is, baby. Two Travis Scott meals. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You have a good one. Oh, look at this, baby. All right. You know what? We can't drive and eat. So let's get home and let's try these Travis meals, baby. Woo! Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It's lit. Oh, God. Who's talking? <laughs> Quickly stopping by to tell you guys about my podcast called Sus. Share your scare where different people stop by and tell their scariest experiences ever. Whether they be near death, the paranormal, or all things sus. The podcast is every Wednesday. You can listen on Apple and Spotify or you can click the first link down below and go check it out. You don't want to miss this. Here we are, baby. We got our two Travis Scott meals. And what are your thoughts? Mom, you, you don't even eat McDonald's. Right. So, I have two thoughts. My first thought is, I haven't had McDonald's since 1999. Oh my like god. That. And second thought is, I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day. Me it's either. like 4 o'clock, so I'm ready to eat. Okay, so the one interesting thing that I will say is there's no branding for this Travis Scott meal at all. Like, the bag is normal. Let's see if the actual meal has anything. Nothing on the napkins except for mad oil. So we get some french fries, and here are our burgers. Ain't nothing on there. This is the only kind of branding it has for Travis Scott. And it makes you think, like, is this actually a Travis Scott meal or is it just what he orders when he goes there? Yeah. I you mean, know what I mean? I bet you he goes all the time. This is like his thing. This is just what he because orders. Because we didn't even get a choice. I, I was like, I want iced tea. Well, and that, yeah, we that's like, I guess that's just like what he orders is a Sprite. Right. right. Which I'm cool with because I like Sprite. So let's look at these things, all right? No branding, no Travis Scott on the bun, nothing. It looks like a Big Mac. I think it almost is a Big Mac, except it doesn't have that thin piece of bread in the middle, so I think it's a quarter pounder. Oh. But let's get some beauty shots of this thing. It looks like we got pickles, we got onions, we got lettuce, we got ketchup, we got mustard, we got bacon, cheese and the meat. I think that might be everything that's in here. I don't see any mayonnaise, which I was a little bit scared of. I think it might be just mustard and ketchup. Let's give our first thoughts of the Travis Scott burger. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. I mean, just a regular quarter pounder. The one thing I will say about it is it's better than any other burger that you would order at McDonald's because I would normally order like just a cheeseburger or a McDouble and the meat's a lot thinner. Yeah, does a quarter pounder usually have bacon or is that something he adds? I'm not sure. Like, I'm not a McDonald's connoisseur so I couldn't be the answer to that. I mean, for what it is, like... I mean, it's not bad. It I was, like it. I will say it's A1 on the market. 
because they have probably sold more quarter pounders now than they have ever sold in the, the McDonald's career right. because of the Travis Scott right. name being tied to it. I don't know if it's because I'm really, really hungry. It's really it good. It just really good. <laughs> I was just about to say that. The I, bacon I, has the perfect crunch to it. The burger's actually juicy. For being McDonald's, I'm actually surprised. Sprite is great as ever. Fries are delicious. I love McDonald's fries. Yeah, the fries are the best. So wait, isn't it, isn't Travis Scott the one that got you blocked with Kylie Jenner? Or, or something like that? What, tell me the oh story about that again. I don't think anyone knows the story. I actually saw these screenshots not too long ago, so I'm gonna add them to the video. But basically, I thought I was a funny guy, you know? I always think I'm a funny guy. Keep and thinking, baby. <laughs> and I decided to go on one of Kylie Jenner's, I followed her, I used to follow her on Instagram. I can't anymore, because I'm blocked. He's trying on like his other <laughs> accounts that he has. <laughs> so I commented on her picture. It was a picture of her and Travis Scott. And I jokingly thought, you know, because I'm a comedian, I thought saying, oh, you and 2 Chains look so cute together. And if you don't know 2 Chains is another rapper, that's different. N next thing I know, I like, I was getting so many likes on this comment because I remember seeing it and then it all just disappeared. And I was like, wait a second, did she delete my comment? That's what my thought was. And then I tried like looking for her Instagram <laughs> and I was like, no way, Kylie Jenner deleted her Instagram? I was like, no way. And then after doing some more research, I figured out I'm blocked by Yeah, Kylie and Jenner. I get this call. He's like, mom! I'm like, what? <laughs> Kylie Jenner blocked me. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, why would you even do that to have her block you? Like, I don't even think that's funny, your comment. I think it's kind of like, why would you even say that? Well, Trying to be funny. <laughs> Leading up to this, I did leave another a, a, a couple comments. I commented on the picture of her baby, and I said, Hmm, looks a lot like Tyga. That's I did right. say that, and that did have a top comment too, but that didn't get me blocked. She might have recognized me from that comment and blocked me after. Either way, I'm, I was stupid, I was foolish. Kylie, if you by chance see this video, I don't know how you'd see it. If you did, please. I am so sorry. He apologizes to the moon and back. I, He's I was, so sorry. I thought I was funny. I know it was, and it was stupid, and I wish I could take it back, because now I'll never get to keep up with the Kardashians, ever. And now I'm probably shunned by the... the Kardashian Jenner family, like yeah. they blackballed me in the industry. No wonder why my YouTube channel is not taken off anymore. That's the story of how I got blocked by Kylie Jenner. It's actually a pretty good burger. I will say, if I'm in the area, it's late night, I will order the Travis Scott again. And I'm not a mustard guy, but I'm cool with it on there. It actually kind of gives flavor to the burger. I actually really, really like this. Surprisingly, I don't know if it's just because we went to like a newer McDonald's that was kind of bougie. It's pretty yeah, good. I really like it. I would do it again, and I'm not even just saying that. I have no reason to just say that. I'm blocked by the family. So what I have to say about it is it's actually good, and you should trust what I say. That wraps up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, what should they do, Mom? Go to brennantaylor.com and buy some merch. That and smash the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. Pick up the merch. You already know the vibes. Follow us on Instagram. And most definitely go listen to our podcast, shareyourscare.com. You can go stream it on Apple, Spotify, whatever you please. Cactus Jack, I'm actually pretty impressed with your burger. And uh, I will be back. Yeah, let's go work out now. Yeah, we I need to. to <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Peace.